Keeping our toes out. Check that they're parallel. Then take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, gently soften the knees. And then tilt that pelvis back and forth. Good. Slowing that down, leveling out the hips, finding your neutral spine. And then engaging your pelvic floor. Back passage leading to the front, squeeze. And then imagine you're squeezing it up through the body all the way up to the top of the head. Relax the shoulders. Keep breathing normally as you keep that engagement. Take a breath in. And on the exhale, gently release down to around 30%. Inhale, squeeze it back up to 50%. And then exhale, release all the way down. Inhale, hold it at 30% and keep it there. Finding your TVA, it's the band of muscle around the waist. We're going to bring the belly back into the spine, lift it up as tight as you can. Really squeeze it in and then exhale, let it all out. Engage again, holding that to 50%. Exhale, release and then holding it in at 30%. Take another breath in on the exhale, bring your shoulders down into your back pocket. Feel nice and tall through the spine, chin parallel to the floor. Inhale through the nose, expand the rib cage out nice and wide. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale again, try not to lift the chest, but feel the rib cage expand. Exhale through the mouth. Last one, fill up the lungs as much as you can. And then exhale, let it all out. Good, on to our warm up. Inhale, bring those shoulders up to the ears. Exhale, release down. Inhale, lift, squeeze. Exhale, release. One more. Inhale, lift, bring your shoulder blades together at the back. And then exhale, release them down. Shoulder set, please. Forward, up, back and down. As big as you can. Good. And then changing direction, going back, up, forward and down. And one more. And then bring in the arms. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, coming down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Last one. Keep that neutral spine. TVA engage and pelvic floor. Bring the arms forward, up, back and down. And last one. Good. Widening your stance, keeping your hips facing forward. Take a breath in. Exhale, rotate round, looking over your shoulder, hips stay forward, inhale, exhale, rotate round, inhale, exhale, rotate, one more time, and then exhale, come back to centre, good, side bends, we're going to bring one arm above the head, the other arm to the belly button, stick the hip out to the side and stretch down the side. Here. Deep breath in through the rib cage. Exhale, come back to center. Change over. As you inhale, just feel that rib cage expand. Exhale, back to center. Good. Same again, but this time look up to the palm of your hand. Inhale. Exhale, come back. Last one. Inhale. Exhale, come back. Good. Okay, so we're just going to warm up our knees a little. So bringing your feet back together, bending your knees slightly, and you're just going to circle your knees round. So try and keep your feet on the ground. You may hear my knees making some noise, but it's good for the warm up of the knees. Get them moving. Good. So change direction after three circles one way three circles the other. Good, last three, either side, Ooh, and then come back to centre. Good, we're going to change up our squats a little bit, we're going to bring our feet together, we're going to come down, arms are going to go forward and bum's going to go back, back's going to stay straight. So we're going to bend the knees, focus on something in front of you, keep your shoulders down, feet and knees together, and then exhale, come up, hips forward, shoulders back, nice and tall. 
Inhale, coming down. Really feel the spine feeling long. And you bring your glutes towards the floor. Keep those shoulders down. And then come up, hips forward, shoulders back. Two more. Inhale down. Really stretch with your arms. Counterbalancing. Try not to let your knees go too far over your knee, um, over your feet, sorry. Bring those hips up. Last one. Inhale down. Squeeze the th thighs together. And then exhale, come up. And shake those legs up. Well done, okay, coming to the back of your mat, we're going into it. So into that roll down, so feet hip distance apart, neutral spine, core engaged, shoulders back, nice and tall. Inhale through the nose, exhale chin to chest, rolling down your spine. Any back problems, keep your knees soft. Let the arm hang loose, keep the chin tucked into the chest, and just breathe into this stretch here. Keep your weight nice and equal between your toes and your heels. Deep breath in, exhale, slowly roll back up the spine, stacking each vertebra one by one. Shoulders back, head up nice and tall. Good, one more. Inhale through the nose, exhale, chin to chest, roll down the spine. Let those arms hang loose. If you want to take it further and you know how, just bend those knees, place the palms down, or hold on to your opposite elbow, tuck your head between your arms, and let the weight of your arms help pull you down that little bit more, or you can just gently hang here. Deep breath in, exhale, slowly roll back up the spine, stacking each vertebra one by one, Shoulders back, head up nice and tall. Good, we're gonna do an exercise in downward dog. So again, if anyone does find being on their wrist too much, just come down into a seated position and we'll be there next. Oh, no, on your stomach, sorry, we'll be there next. <laughs> okay, inhale through your nose, exhale chin to chest, roll down the spine. Walking your hands forward, Pushing your heels down into the floor. Now don't worry if they're not there, but you're gonna try and aim to get them there. So feel that stretch on the back of your legs. Push your shoulder blades away from your ears. Keep the tummy muscle engaged. And we're gonna walk on the spot, which is bending one knee, pushing the other heel down. So you're just intensifying that stretch on one leg at a time. Breathe, look between your ankles. And then take a nice deep breath in. And then exhale, push both heels down. Good, so now we're gonna take it a little bit further. We're gonna inhale, bend the knees, bring the knees towards the floor, but they're not gonna touch. Push your shoulder blades together and away. Look between your hands and exhale, come up. Back into downward dog, look between your ankles. Good, I'm gonna do that three more times. Inhale, bend the knees, look between the hands, shoulder blades back, core engaged. Exhale, come up. Two more, inhale down, push the shoulder blades together and down. Exhale, come back up. Last one here, inhale, bend the knees, push the shoulder blades back. And we're going to step forward with one foot, two foot, back, back, forward, forward, back, back, ignore that, forward, forward, back, back, one more, forward, forward, back, back, release the knees, uncurl the toes, come into child pose and just give your fingers a little wiggle and your wrist a little rotation. Good, okay, so we're coming onto our stomachs. Good, and our hands are gonna make a capital E position. We're coming into swan dive. So elbows are in line with your shoulders. Forearms are parallel to one another. Shoulder blades push back. Walk the hips down the mat as long as you can. Really uh, elongate your spine. Tummy muscles engaged. 
So you want to feel like you've got a belt around your waist and you've got that engaged to about 30%. Keep it there, that's going to support your back. Okay, so the first stage is you're going to inhale, lift your head and chest off the floor. Keep your elbows down and try not to engage your glutes. Exhale, release your head and shoulders down. Good. Head and chest, sorry. Inhale, lifting up. So your eye line just follows the floor up or towards the wall. And then exhale, come back down. Good, if that feels okay, we're gonna add lifting the arms. So inhale, lifting the head, chest and arms. They're coming straight up, they're not moving. Exhale, coming down. Good. Now really try not to engage the lower part of your body. Really feel it in the lower back. Tummy muscle engaged. Inhale, head, chest, arms lift up. Exhale, release down. Good. Now we're going to add the legs in. So bring them closer together, either together or just about hip distance apart again. Not too wide. Inhale, head, chest, arms and leg lifting up, tummy muscle engaged at all times. Exhale, releasing down. Good. One more here. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, releasing down. Now we're going to build this up. So if it gets too much, just stick with the stage that you can manage and feel comfortable doing. Inhale, lifting up. Now this time we're going to stretch our arms forward. Really reach. Inhale, back to capital E. Exhale, release down. One more here. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, stretching forward. Inhale, capital E. Exhale, release down. Good. We're going to build on from here. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, stretching forward. Inhale, arms go round the back. Exhale, lift the chest, lift the legs. Inhale, capital E. Exhale, release down. Lovely, one more here. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, stretching forward. Inhale, arms go round the back. Exhale, lift the legs, lift the chest. Inhale, capital E. Exhale, release down. Good. Taking it on to a different stage. Hands go underneath the shoulders, elbows in. Inhale, lifting up your upper body. Feeling that stretch, pushing your pelvis towards the floor. Shoulder blades together and down. Good. And then we're going to do a little rock here. So if you feel comfortable enough, upper body's going to go down. Legs are going to come up. And if you feel more confident with it, hands come off the floor as you come down. Otherwise, keep the hands on the floor. And then if you want to take it further and feel confident, then you can bring the arms forward. So inhale, exhale, rock. And see how many you can continue to rock for. Or do one and go again. But go to the stand, the level that suits you for now. And then keep practicing to build on it later on. Good. Nice work everyone. You're looking great. Okay, to stretch that one out, come onto your knees. Coming into a cat stretch. So tucking your head under, arching your back up. Breathe in here. And then it's nice to do the opposite stretch, which is the cow where you stick the bum out, head up and lower your lower back downwards, shoulder blades back. Inhale into cat. And exhale into cow. Good. One more of both. Okay, swinging those legs round. One we haven't done on Zoom, but those that have done my class before, we've done before a few times which is roll down, is like a, rolling like a ball. But we're just gonna warm up with our roll down. So option here, hands underneath thighs, sitting nice and tall, or legs straight, arms out in front. Inhale, tilting the pelvis back. 
Exhale, rolling up. Now, if anyone finds rolling like a ball too much, just continue with your roll down. We're going to do two more. Really stretch that spine as you finish and start. And then exhale, stretch up, reach for your toes. Good. So on this one, really watch out that you don't bring your head back. You've got to really try and glue it to your chest on this one. So you don't hit the head behind you. So walk your feet in towards your body. First stage here is that your hands go down by the side. They're going to support you to lift you back up. So nice and tall to start, start with. Inhale, bring your chin to your chest, bring your feet off the floor, crawl back. And exhale, come up. Push your hands down to lift you up. So again, nice and tall. Inhale, chin tuck in. Always exhale, come up. So making sure you're not hitting that head, releasing it on the floor. Next one is you're going to hold on to your ankles. Coming into a tighter ball, keep those shoulders down. Inhale, rolling back. Exhale, coming up. And as you come up, try and straighten your back and keep your feet off the floor. Inhale, chin to chest, roll back, exhale, come up. Good, so that's rolling like a ball. Coming into seal where your hands go through the middle of your legs and then you hold on to the outer ankle. Sit nice and tall to start with. Inhale, chin tucked in. As you come back, clap your feet together three times and then exhale, come up. Or you can clap your feet in front of you. Inhale, chin to chest, roll back. Clap three times. Exhale, come up. Now, if they're getting too much, just stick to what stage you prefer. Coming into crab where you cross over your legs and you hold on to your opposite ankle. So nice and tall. Inhale, chin to chest, roll back. Exhale, come up. Sitting nice and tall. Find that balance. One more. Rolling back. And exhale, coming up. Good. And the last challenge, the one that people might find the hardest, is you holding on to your opposite elbow, bringing your el uh, opposite shoulder, sorry, elbow to your thigh. And as you roll back and come back up, your elbow doesn't leave your contact with your thigh. You're relying on your core and the momentum of your roll and not your legs to pull you up. Well done, everyone. Okay, so finishing off with our roll down, 15 seconds straight down, stay higher for longer, make it easier or lower for longer, but do not bring your shoulder blades onto that floor until, what did I say, 14? Let's say 15. Off we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. All the way down now, arms above the head, legs stretched out. Breathe into that core. Well done. Okay, so the famous 100 on our backs, bringing our feet onto the floor. Shoulder blades into your back pocket. Heels out, toes out. Neutral spine. TVA engaged. Arms down by your side or one hand on your tummy to check that you keep that TVA still locked in and don't let it out. Okay, so breathing. Inhale through the nose. Push that rib cage down. Exhale through the mouth. Out of all of this, the most important thing to get right is the breathing and the TVA. Good. Inhale through that nose, push the rib cage down, exhale through the mouth. Okay, option one, bringing one leg up to tabletop. 
knee above the hip, shin parallel to the ceiling. This is where the TVA might pop out, so we've got to keep it in. Bring that second leg up for option two. Lower back is coming off the floor, push it down. Feel really connected with the ground or bring one leg back on the floor. Head and shoulders as an option, come off the floor. Again, if you have any neck problems and feel the strain around the neck, release it down, use a pillow or a block. Arms coming off the floor and we're pulsing. Inhale for five pulses. Exhale for five. If anyone wants to take it further, bring your legs together and extend those legs forward. Inhale for five. Exhale for five. You can always build it up by doing a breath with bent knees and then a breath with straight legs. And then you can always do a breath with bent knees and two breaths with straight legs. Good, we've got three more breaths left. Keep going, keep challenging yourself, keep that TVA engaged, support that lower back. Make sure your head and neck aren't taking the strain. Use those tummy muscles. Two more breaths. Exhale. Last breath. Inhale. Exhale, release the head and shoulders. Release one leg. Release the other and breathe into your tummy. And stretch that out, well done. Okay, so the next one we're going to do is shoulder bridge. So feet together, thighs together. And now if uh, you did um, have got a Pilates ball, you can use that between your thighs and keep your feet hip distance apart. You want to walk your feet as close to your body as you can. Shoulders still in your back pocket. Inhale, pelvic tilt, just lifting the pelvis off the floor. It might not be that much, but just feel that movement from the, from the pelvis and feel your lower back pushing down into the ground. Hold it there. Feel the engagement through your glutes and your pelvic floor. And then exhale, release it down and arch your lower back up. So really extend that tilt in your pelvis. Good. Inhale, pelvic tilt. Lower back pushes down. Exhale now, vertebrae lifting off the floor one by one. Squeezing the glutes and the pelvic floor, keeping the knees together. Keep those arms down for now. But you can push the back of the arms down to lift the hips up to increase that stretch. Check your big toes are connected to the floor. Your knees are together unless you have a Pilates ball. Take a breath in and then slowly with control release each vertebra down one by one and then tilting that pelvis lifting the lower back up just for that extra bit of stretch. Okay, off we go again. Building as we go. Inhale, pelvic tilt. Exhale, vertebra go up. Keep those knees together or squeeze that ball. Inhale, arms go over the head. Two breaths here. Keep those hips up, don't let them drop. On the next exhale, arms come down, hips stay up. Deep breath in. Exhale, slowly release the vertebras down one by one. And then release the pelvis. Good. So, as you know, we're going to build on from this. So, if anyone finds that's enough for them, just continue with that stage of shoulder bridge. Otherwise, we're going into one leg. So, inhale, pelvic tilt. Exhale, vertebrae go up. Keep the arms down because that's going to help keep the hips up. Bring the right heel off the floor. Sweep the toe forward, lifting that leg in line with your thigh and knee still, but that leg is extended. Push those hips up. We're gonna dip it down and up, just the hips five times. So dip down, up for one, two, three, four, 
five, bring that leg to tabletop and then release it down, feet and thighs together. Keep those hips up, bring the left heel off the floor, sweep that leg forward, keep the thighs and knees connected and pulsing. One, two, three, four, five, up to tabletop with the left foot, bring it down, push the hips up, take a breath in and slowly release the vertebrae down one by one, and release the pelvis. Good, okay, one more stage on this. I'm gonna go over, keep that legs and thighs together, or we're gonna send that leg up to the ceiling. So inhale, pelvic tilt. Exhale, vertebrae go up. Squeeze the glutes and the pelvic floor. The right heel off the floor. Sweep that leg now up to the ceiling. If too much, have it at tabletop. And we're gonna pulse, and the movement's coming from the hip. Off we go for five. One, two, really try and touch the ceiling. Three, four, five, to tabletop and down. Change legs. Heel, sweep, lift. Five here, one, two, three, four, five, tabletop, down, lift the hips, add in the arms, over the head, deep breath for two, exhale, arms down, hips stay up, last breath in here, and then slowly release the vertebrae down. Release the pelvis, bring your knees into your chest and give them a good hug and a gentle sway from side to side. Good. Okay, so next one we're going to do is our neck pull. So intertwine your fingers, bring your hands behind your head, have your knees slightly bent, and then bring your elbows up to your peripheral vision. So as you look up to the ceiling, you should just be able to see your elbows in the corners of your eyes. Check your neutral spine and your TVA is engaged. Just relax your head in your hands. Same breathing as 100. Inhale through the nose, push the rib cage down, which helps lift the head and neck. Exhale through the mouth and then feel the spine curving round as your tummy muscles contract. Inhale, hold, and then exhale, roll back down. You're gonna try and bring your elbow, uh, shoulder blades off the floor. So inhale, head and neck off the floor. Exhale through the mouth, bringing your shoulder blades up, feeling that curve in the spine. Inhale, exhale, slowly release down. Good, we're gonna do two more here. Inhale through the nose, push the rib cage down, head and neck come off. Exhale through the mouth, really squeeze those abs together. See if you can come that little bit more higher up. Inhale, exhale, roll back down. If you want to do this last one with straight legs, inhale, head and shoulders up. Exhale, tummy muscles engaged. See if you can come all the way up without pulling the neck. Take a breath in, and then exhale, curve the spine and roll down. Okay, well done. Oh my no. So next one we're going to do, although you can't see me because little one's in the way. Good one. Okay, so same again, but you're going to bring one leg up the tabletop and towards you. So you're going to go, inhale, head and shoulders up. Exhale, curve the spine, lift the shoulder blades off the floor. Opposite elbow to knee. Come back to center. Extend leg. Bring it back. Extend. Do not drop the head and shoulders. Back. Extend leg. Elbow to knee. Back to center. Keep the head and shoulders off the floor, but keep an apple underneath your chin. Extend the leg. Back. Twist, we've got one more this side. Extend, twist, back to center. Relax the head and shoulders, relax the leg. Well done.
Go again, make sure you're not putting the weight on your neck, relax the head in your hands. Elbows into your peripheral vision. Bring your other leg up to tabletop. Inhale, head and shoulders off the floor. Exhale, curve up. Twist, bringing elbow to knee. Back to center, drop, don't drop the shoulder blades, extend the leg. Elbow to knee, back to center, down the leg. Good, we've got three more leg extensions. Two more. Good. Last one. Leg back, release the head and shoulders and stretch the arms and the leg. Well done, guys. That's a newish one for most of you. <clears throat> Breathe into that core. You might feel that around the rib cage. Okay, so next one, we are gonna go into our one leg uh, stretch, which is very similar to what you've just done. But we're gonna start with our head and shoulders still connecting to the floor. So holding the back of one thigh and extending the other leg out, really feeling that stretch through the hip. Good, we're gonna change over the legs 10 times, keeping your head and shoulders down and making sure your shoulders stay away from your ears. Ready, let's go, lift the leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Okay, so this time, arms up to the ceiling, shoulder blades stay down. You're gonna bring one arm, the knee that's in towards you, that leg goes towards the top, so above the head. The other leg that's extended, that arm goes down. So it's a little bit different from what we normally do with one leg stretch. So lift that leg up, you'll feel your core engage, you're gonna exchange over arms. So you're feeling more like a robot here. Good, we're gonna do this 10 times, off we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, hug those knees in, full body stretch out, and we're going to finish off with ten of our normal, so again option here of head and shoulders down, hugging one knee, bringing your head and shoulders up, nose towards the knee, other leg extended, Arm above the head with the extended leg. Arm down by the side or holding the back of your thigh. 10 of these, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Hug in, full body stretch out. Well done. Finishing off with our one-legged circle. So shoulders into your back pocket. Feet bent, um, feet bent, knees bent, <laughs> feet on the floor. Option here, one leg up to tabletop, other leg extended or knee bent. And imagining you've got a pencil on your knee pointing up to the ceiling. Start drawing that circle nice and small and slow. We're aiming for four to seven circles, trying to keep your hips controlled, not swaying too much, using your core muscles to control that movement. And then changing direction, checking that your other leg isn't swaying from side to side if you've got it bent, and that your knee is staying at a 90 degree angle. If you're finding this difficult, another way is having a straight leg and that movement will definitely come through the hip as long as you don't replace it with the movement through the ankle or the toe. Once you've done equal amount both ways, change over legs. Start small. When you've got that control, then feel that circle up. Check your lower back is pushed down into the floor as you extend your leg. Or go away from you. 
Keeping the other leg still, keeping your hips stable. Relax the shoulders. Focus on that breathing as well. Changing direction once you've done the equal amount of numbers as the other leg. Keep that movement small and slow to keep control or challenge yourself and make them bigger. And then once you've done that, bring one leg up to tabletop. Bring the second leg up to tabletop. Finishing with our double leg. We're gonna go with four. Bring the knees towards you, out, away, together, to tabletop. So towards, away, out, away, together, tabletop. Two more this way. Last one. And then change direction. <laughs> away, out, towards, together. Four of these, so three more. <laughs> and last two. <laughs> and then hug those knees in. Full body stretch out, breathe into that core. Just give the toes and the ankles a little wiggle. And then we're going to come into our stretches. So if you do have a resistance band belt or a carrier bag, place it over the foot and bring that leg up into your hamstring stretch. Shoulders down. <coughs> Focusing on your breathing. And keep bringing that leg towards you to feel that increased stretch. Good. So when it eases, bring it in more. Then take a deep breath in. Exhale, release that leg and bring yourself into your calf stretch. Bless you. Bless you. Toes towards, heel pushed away. Feeling that stretch now in your calf. No. Nancy. No. And then holding the band with the same hand as your leg. Bring your leg out to the side, stretching your inner thigh. Option of having the other leg bent or straight. And just breathe into that stretch. And to increase that stretch, bring the toe towards you and the heel pushed away. <laughs> Deep breath in. Exhale, bring that leg back to center. Change over hands, bring that leg across the body. Opposite arm out to the side. Or same arm as the leg, but bring it out to the side. And look towards your hands, stretched out in line with your shoulder. Feel the twist through the body and breathe into your rib cage. And then bring your toe towards, heel push away. Deep breath in, exhale, bring that leg back to center. Bring that leg up and then change over with your other leg into your hamstring stretch here. Shoulders relaxed, bring that leg in till you feel it in your hamstring. But do know your own, own body and don't over stretch. Let your body tell you when you're ready to ease and bring it in some more. Keep that knee soft. And then deep breath in. Exhale, release, come into your calf stretch, toe down, heel push away. And 
And then holding the band with the same hand as your leg, bring your leg out to the side, stretching that inner thigh. And deep breath in, exhale, bring that leg back to center, change over hand, bring that leg across the body, arm out to the side, and looking towards your arm in line with your shoulder, breathing into your rib cage. And toe towards, heel push away, deep breath in. Exhale, bring that leg back to centre. One last stretch through your hamstring and then release the band. Take yourself into a full body stretch. Arms above head, legs stretched out. Wiggle the fingers, rotate the wrist. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, bring one knee into your chest. Wiggle the toes and rotate the ankle three times one way, three times the other. And change legs. And then bring both knees in and gently sway from side to side and rotate round, giving the back a nice good stretch both ways. And then bringing yourself up into a seated position, whichever way suits you. Finishing off with our breaths, inhale lifting up to the ceiling, exhale halfway. Final curve round, chin to chest, deep breath in. Exhale, bring your arms behind your back, shoulder blades together, push them down. Deep breath in. Exhale, release. Last one, inhale, lifting up. Exhale, releasing one arm, relaxing the other. Give your shoulders a good shape. Well done, everyone. Good job today.